calls from South Africa, they told us after going online that they can no longer deal with her. This is the industry we are dealing with. The likes of Abeku Santana, back in those days when we came, would sit on radio and say, Raquel Onyeganeni, we had the likes of Okweku Mante being in positions to give awards for work that had been done and they would say her music is not Ghanaian enough have you ever thought about the fact why Effie has continually won the female artist of the year after Becca won a few bits Raquel is not a good singer? Is she not a vocal proudest? When was she going to be given an opportunity for people to realize her work? How much skin did she, did she have to show? What is the talent that we are talking about? What do you expect management to do when we have other record label owners as part of the decision makers of who wins the award? And I'm speaking with Chat House. Mm. We have record label owners who also have competing artists within the competition making decisions on the board. How do you compete as an independent young label? <laughs> Black Star SR Entertainment has done a lot in this industry. We were not funded by anybody. It was a private, singly handed funded project. And we had contributed immensely to this industry. I speak today with a lot of passion. Mm, I'm feeling it. I'm I speak today very, very because very the very likes of Riala do have the right to speak up. I remember when Riala started. I saw Ishon mm -hmm. at the third production of Raquel's Cupid Party, one of the biggest Valentine events ever yeah. to be produced in Ghana. Yeah. I know about that too. We had made so much strides within this industry, but it was all ignored for the industry politics. And the concentration was on the negativity and to see the distraction of raw, pure talent. Mm -hmm. It is sad. Mm -hmm. I have come across female musicians who had been on every single talent show in Ghana and they died just before I could save them. And I speak about an artist called June. Those who are in the industry know her. June was a very beautiful artist. She had been on the Airtel shows, every single talent show in this country. But she did not get the help she needed. When I met her, she had been raped. She was being threatened with evidence. Raped by industry people. By industry people. She could not even tell me. This girl could not even enter the gate of my compound to even let alone sit in my office. I had to meet her in public places throughout our session whilst I was trying to sign this girl. Because she was scared. She was scared of something. And when she opened up to me, she had risen to a point where she had bipolar. She was a university Legon graduate who just wanted to do music. Mm. Her family lives in Odoko. If they are listening to me today, God bless them. And they couldn't even understand what she was dealing with, the depression and the bipolar. They couldn't understand the medical agenda that was going on. And this poor girl died, 20-something. Mm. We are not being truthful to ourselves. You see, where is the Wendy Shays, the Ephesians, which stage in this country have they climbed that the Beckers and the Fierce and the Raquel have already not done? Mm -hmm. Someone should check his phone. Why is it that there's not a deliberate agenda to take them international? Why are we not speaking of collaborative efforts for the likes of Riala to take somebody like Wendy Shea to a one concert or mm -hmm. festival mm -hmm. in the international scene to introduce, which is what I know the Nigerians know to do mm -hmm. very well. Mm -hmm. We do not have a system to churn out new products. We do not have a deliberate strategy to develop new talent. We do not have a deliberate strategy to appreciate existing talent that will mature and now also begin the process of developing new products. So often when they hit saturation, we say, she has died, or he has died, or the career has died. Absolute rubbish. Rubbish. <clears throat> And until we, we, we begin, listen, every time you've heard somebody mention Raquel's name, it's to do with what they perceive that she may have had a relationship with her manager. Mm -hmm. How many times have you heard Arnold mm -hmm. or Abeku Santana mm -hmm. 
or the big guys within the industry speak about her vocal proudness, which is exactly what she stood for. Which is exactly what we continually try to promote. Not her sexuality. No. Rubbish. Mm, 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 mm. Question is, where do we go from here? <laughs> where do we go from here as an industry? How do we begin to facilitate the agenda? I said this two years ago that Namwa's agenda to deliberately push female artists was one of the best agendas this country could have had. And I was hoping that independent labels that try to develop young talent, and particularly the females, will be supported by a bigger label that would help them to excel. We need collaboration. We don't need division. There's only a small amount of female musicians. How many of them have been awarded? Were we waiting for... Um, uh, what's, what's her name? Um, the lady that passed away. Ebony. Ebony to win the artist of the year before we realize the value of a female artist, before we realize that a female artist can be equally competent and be competitive. We've had the likes of senior artists recording with Raquel. That was on one of their biggest albums. Mm. They never called her to perform with her. Have you seen Ochiame Kwame perform Wara with Raquel before? Mm. I would arrest my case at this point. I would like to say shout out to Amofa mm -hmm. and all the posse at the EC registration center at Shepherd's Place in Bowie. Mm. We give that. <laughs>